Welcome back everybody to another LibreOffice Calc tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to go over how you can consolidate or combine your data or multiple ranges of data. Here we have some made up sales data for three years, 2016, 17, and 18. And what we want to do is to sum or consolidate the corresponding data values from each of these ranges of data. So for example, we want to add this 1,000 to this 3,000 to this 1,000, and so on. Now, let's go ahead and give names to all of our data ranges. You don't have to do that, but if you're dealing with a whole bunch of data ranges, it can make it just a little bit easier. Let's start with the year 2016. Go up to Name Box. Manage Names. Let's click Add. Give your data range a name. Select your data range. Click Add and OK. Then, if you want to access that data range, click your drop down and select it. OK? Now that we have named our ranges, let's go to our total tab. And this is where we are going to put our consolidated data. Let's go up to data, consolidate. Now if you wanted to use another function besides sum, just click the function dropdown. So for example, if you wanted to use count or average or max or min, you could do that. Now since we named our ranges, Instead of clicking in this box and selecting all those ranges again, we can just simply choose them. So let's start with 16 and click Add. 17 and 18. So these are all of the data ranges that we are going to consolidate using the SUM function. And again, that is going to SUM the corresponding values for each data range. We want to copy those results to the total tab, the current tab that we're on, to cell A5. Now click on Options, and our data set had row and column labels, and we want to consolidate by those labels. Click OK. And you can see we get our consolidated data, which is the sum for each of the corresponding values for years 2016, 17, and 18. Now to make this real easy, when I set up these data sets, I made sure that when you added all three years together, for each cell it would equal 5,000. And you can see that's what we get. Okay? Another thing you can do with Consolidate is to allow real-time updates. So let's show you an example. If we go to 2016 and we change this to, say, 6,000, and then we go to our total, you can see it did not change. Now, let's go up to Data, Consolidate, click on your options, and click Link to Source Data. Okay. Now, let's go back to 2016, change that, go back to our total, and you can see it has been updated. When you click that link, it also allows you to see the different numbers that are going into your totals. So if you just want to see, say, January, then you can click on that plus and it will show you. If you want to expand and see all of the numbers that go into the totals, you can click on this number 2. Okay? Let's go over one more example. Here we have a very simple data set. However, notice that several of the identifiers for our rows repeat. And what we want to do is to consolidate those that repeat and get a sum. So we want to sum for each of these unique letters. Let's go up to Data, Consolidate, 
Let's go ahead and select our range. Let's click Add. We want to copy the results to D1. For the options, we mainly want to consolidate the row labels, but we have row labels and column labels. Okay, let's click OK. And you can see, if you look at our original data set, for A, we have 1,000, 1,000, and 3,000, which gives us 5,000. The other letters are 5,000, except for D, which is 2,500 and 2,500. And those two Ds are added together to give us 5,000. That's all we have for this tutorial. Join us again next time.